already rich. And he won twice. That guy's That's... never in a bad mood, I promise you. Nothing's ever no. bad in his life. No. A you bad day lottery. for him is a great day for me. If you won the lottery <laughs> twice, you're a happy dude forever. Yeah. The Canadian lottery is not like American lottery. American listeners, don't worry. You're you're not like retiring on Canadian lottery money, but no, but we don't have to. You don't. You you get all of it though. You don't pay taxes on it unless you're an idiot. You take the lump sum. I had a buddy who yeah. did that. He won. Uh, he won that uh, set for life thing. You know the scratch ticket. Oh, did he really? Cash he for life. Thousand dollars a week for life. Yeah. And he fucking took the lump sum. They gave him like sixty grand or something stupid. Like it was ridiculously low compared to what he oh, could have. Oh wow. Had. Um, That's fucked. But that's what he took. And then he had 60 grand in his bank. Like, they just deposited it all at once. <laughs> but you can't touch it for seven days, right? Because it's just like any other bank, any major, like, deposit you can't touch. So he, he's just like, he would just go to the machine, like, every 10 minutes just to look at his balance. $60,000. <laughs> that's amazing. Can you imagine having $60,000 you can't touch? It might as well be $193 billion to me. Yeah. That's exactly. What, it would feel the same to me, and I would party like it was one hundred ninety-three billion. Oh, ah. So Jeff Bezos, in case you didn't get that, uh, I would like a job, please, sir. And if you put Eric and Gord on as Amazon's like flagship podcast, I think we will steer your company in the right direction. Absolutely, you just, can trust just us. That out there. <laughs> um. Am I keeping up with these random faxes? I got, I got, I got a hundred of them. Hey, if you got more, let's let's uh, let's let's keep. Well, we're well into the hour. Um, let's keep going a little bit, though. Why not? Hey, cool. Here we are. I'm uh, I'm just glad this worked out. I'm glad we're doing it. I'm even going to publish this one tonight, and it's kind of like not Eric and Gord style, but that's cool. It's been a while since we've done something a, a little different, so I like. That's it. what I thought. I think we'd just be nice just to. Fuck the world for a bunch of shit, and let's just talk about some interesting random things. I couldn't agree more. Um, birds, as we all know, Our when dinosaurs. a bird yeah, shits on it. you or shits on something, uh, there's the the white and the and the white stuff and the black stuff. Yeah. Well, the white stuff is not actually poop. The oh. white part that you see is actually the equivalent of bird urine. That's gross, and I don't care. It's still gross. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> really? That's that's dinosaur random tongue. fact. That's that random is fact. For dinosaur it. tongue. Like, I, I just like care. it because now if, if face, somebody says oh, a bird just shit on me, you can just point to it and say it's not just shit. That's piss too. That guy. <laughs> that that's the fucking uh, foe and fa guy. Actually, it's pronounced <laughs> Iran. Oh, bird just shit on me. Actually, that's uh, urine. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. There's something from a bird's ass on me. That's gross. I don't need to. I don't care what it is, really. It came out of a bird's ass, and now it's on me, and that's fucked enough. I don't. Actually, it's not all poo. Some of it. Go move to Switzerland, you fucking dick. Then on that one, you'll love this. Male giraffes taste the pee of females to determine if they're ready to mate. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> um this i'm actually really this one actually stoked me when i first read this one there are certain animals that are considered to be immortal now from a biological perspective lobsters and jellyfish are immortal they can and do die but it's always due to injury or disease, never from age. Well, we don't know that. They've just lived. We don't know. How do you, how do guess... you know how old a lobster is? And how they, whether they, whether or not they've died of old age. How would you know? I don't know that. Maybe they just so far outlived humans that we're studying that. <laughs> Maybe that's how. The, 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 the scientists that were studying that died before the lobster they were studying? So they're immortal? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I do know that lobsters... Sorry, what was the second one? Lobsters and who? Jellyfish. Oh, yeah. Fuck those guys. Yeah. 
I, I do know. know that lobsters do continue to grow until they die. Oh, that's going to suck. So they will always continue to just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually they die. Oh, man, that seems like my ex, too. But um, <laughs> that would really suck to live like that because, like, um, you know, you, you got to buy new clothes every year till you die. That would be terrible. Yeah. Like, all the shit um, that goes through. And growing. Like, growing's got to suck when you're old. Like, everything sucks when you're old. I hate moving, let alone fucking growing. Now, imagine to continue to just getting heavier and heavier and heavier as you age. Well, if I ate, that would be fantastic. If I could afford food, I might be able to <laughs> understand a little bit of that problem. But, no. No, I, Not... I definitely don't have that problem. <laughs> Uh, and I found the next, by the way, the next major movement that go around the world right now that so will replace the Me the Too movement. Too. Nope, it is it will replace Me Too, and I am going to coin the phrase right now. It's going to be called Ducks Two. Reason is because sixty percent more than sixty percent of ducklings are the product of rape. Yeah. Well, what? No. Yep. More than 60% of ducklings are the product of rape. Male ducks, which are pretty and more colorful, also sport a corkscrew-shaped penis, too. Just to mention that one on a side note, but, yep. Were you going after that because you couldn't find the dinosaur tongues, you sick bastards? Um... (laughs) (laughs) I just, I had nothing to say to that one. Um... The ducks are monogamous, I believe. I know mallard ducks are. Uh, mallard ducks are. Most some ducks are. Some ducks are not. Um, sometimes they uh, basically what it seems to be is is they will just go up to a female and without courting them or anything else, they're just going to go up and basically just fucking rape them, and then they will stay as the parent after the rape. And the judge in Nova Scotia thinks it's totally cool. Yeah, he's all fine with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that guy's a dick. Um, so I, I now again, I got mm. it, well, it, random fact, and that's cool. But again, do I care so much? No, not the slightest. I. What are you gonna do? Like, start give ducks rape whistles? And <laughs> start self defense training. That's going to be my move. There's my charity. I will DLM Duck Lives Matter. <laughs> I will I will uh start a charity for to stop the sexual abuse of ducks and I'll get a fucking fortune from the Canadian government too. That's something just to be all over. Oh yeah, we have to stop that. <laughs> that makes total sense. Those poor little ducks. We got to give them flashlights and whistles. <laughs> Don't forget to They need roots. them. And quack fire. <laughs> nobody comes if you quack rape. Uh, self-defense. I'm about to get some little duck self-defense classes going. Teach ducks how to kick in the groin. In the corkshoe-shaped groin. In the corkshoe-shaped groin. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't, like, I guess they, like, animals probably think our penises are weird, but I'm glad we don't have weird penises like that. Like, just something weird. Like, oh, the corks were. Yeah, no, I'm too. And I think most women are too. Or at least, not that I know of. I'm sure there's some dude out there with some freaky dick. (laughs) Yeah, there's always somebody. (laughs) Jimmy there with a dick growing out of his arm. That thing probably doesn't look normal. (laughs) <laughs> what if the Thor's King guys know about that? I don't know. <laughs> oh man, All right. just funny. you sound like you're getting tired. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of. I mean, I have more tons more facts, but um, yeah, I'm, we can we can make this the I, rest of the week if you want, as we build up to our <laughs> great uh, 
interview with Roger Nygaard, which will happen on Thursday or Saturday of this week. No. Yeah, I'm excited for week. that. Yeah, it is this week. Is it this week or yeah. next week? 2029. We're on 2029. This week. Yeah, it is this week. Oh, Saturday, of course. So, uh, guys, yeah, we're going to do a non-news podcast all week. That's my goal. Yeah. Unless there's something super cool. Like, if Trump gets shot, I'll talk about it. Or yeah. If, yeah. Or if they find a dinosaur running around with his tongue sticking out. <laughs> there is one piece of news I do want to get off my chest, though. Actual news. Well, okay, okay it, it's it's not actual news. <laughs> it's it's news, but it's not news. I don't know how to explain it. Fuck it. I'm just going to say it. Let me just get this out, and then we can end the show. Um. So the president of Mexico, Andreas Manuel Lopez Arbrador, um, when he ran Trump's son, <laughs> when he ran for president, his whole big stance was he was when he came into power in 2018, he was all about that said, I'm wiping out corruption. No more corruption. Yeah. Fuck this. I'm going to fix this fucking country. We're getting rid of corruption. Kind of kind of went the wrong direction on that. Didn't you? Well, not only that, but some footage has just emerged of his brother accepting a cash, what looks like a cash bribe. Of course it is. is. Fuck. (laughs) Although the video itself doesn't really prove anything because it, you know, doesn't, there's no, um, there's no context to what's happening in the video. They just see the exchange being done. But um, the president himself has said that um, he goes, although I'm telling you, my brother is innocent. I will personally start an investigation. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm sure <laughs> and this is where corruption comes. And you will conclude that everything is fine. But <laughs> exactly. every every leader in the world has the best defense ever. Anytime they get caught doing anything, they just go, yeah, well, pff, Trump. Yeah, people exactly. Go, oh, yeah, all right. Well, that's cool. Then you're not bad. <laughs> True enough. Forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said you're yeah, I... corruption, but your brother's corrupt. Yeah, well, he's not Trump. Very true. Carry on. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's right. Fuck it. Can't argue that anymore. <laughs> Can't argue science. Dinosaur tongue. No. <laughs> COVID. Uh, hydrogen. CC. Stem cell. Cure for AIDS. Cure for AIDS. Uh, <laughs> string theory. Moon. <laughs> oh man you know one thing i just found was funny that was in the news was um the uh the democratic guys running had their their first convention thing the national convention national, the DNC. that one Woo. the dnc well one of the speakers is this um, is this uh, woman who is a big outspoken person about um, about um, uh, uh, reform to jails, uh, the entire um, the entire system of of uh, of the, the courthouse and everything else? Could and the funny thing was, well, here's the funny thing. So when I first saw the thing that for this, it was through God bless Fox News, and it says. How could they have this deplorable woman in there? She was in – she spent 27 years in jail for the kidnapping, rape, and torture of a man. Now, yes, true. She did spend time in jail for all – she did spend 27 years of her life in jail for those for those very crimes. But what – the reason why she's such an advocate for all these things is simply because um, – she was forced to do what she was doing because the group had kidnapped her daughter and threatened to kill her daughter. And this all came out in court. This is all admitted, but she was still charged and given yeah. the full sentences for everything, even though you know, she did it just to save her daughter's life. That's how America's... Which, for the record, she did. That's how American justice is. Like, yeah, well, you still fucked up. Yeah, you like, still Like, superheroes wouldn't get... That's why superheroes aren't real, because they'd all get yeah. charged for everything they fucking do, and they go to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the destruction of the cities alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do like twenty yeah. years for defacing a statue or something stupid. Anyway, that sucks for her. But um, yeah, so sucks for her. But I mean, glad that she's turning her life around, doing a lot of stuff. She does a lot of big. Uh, she, she does tours of like universities, talks, speaks about all over the place, and does a lot of big, big stuff. 
But I just again, it just goes. To, I just love that media thing. She's a rapist. You can't allow a 